on the sacred turf of the Markotter field is a game you do not want to miss. Yes, it's my alma mater, Polaris Locking Horns, with the arch rivals from Bloemfontein Grey College. And here's Gavin with some background on Polaris. Stellenbosch Gymnasium, as it was then known, was founded in 1866. Alumni include many influential figures over the decades. Considered as one of the most prestigious boys' schools in South Africa, it has played a significant role in the country's history, providing influential figures in the world of politics, business and sport. More recent old boys include businessman Johan Rupert, banking CEOs Mikkel Jordan and Rian Stassen, the actor Marcel van Heerden and investigative journalist Peter Louis Mayberg. More recent Springboks include fullback Willy LaRue, front rower Steven Kitsoff, number 10 Damien Willemse, scrummy Herschel Janchis, and the latest additions, winger Edwell van der Marwe and flank Ben Jason Dixon. Thank you, Gavin Cowley. Now we had an opportunity to catch up with the rector of Polaris Gymnasium, Meneer van Staden. PRG is a value-driven institution. A huge emphasis is placed on the so-called old-school values of pride, respect and gentlemanship. But it goes further. We also teach our boys that values are far more important than successes and achievements because success and achievements will come and go, but values will empower you to keep on adding to your successes. Our pride in our school is vested in the ethos and the values of Polaris and not in our successes and achievements. Bye, thank you, Meneer van Staden. Ricky, you must be swelling with pride. <laughs> Why am I not wearing my Polaris blazer I today? Know. That would have been appropriate. But also, we are talking about other teams as well, so. Fair enough. Very fair that you didn't wear it today, but we feel the pride. <laughs> so let's see those results for Polaris. Well, other than the fact that this entire board is blue for the last 10 games, it's also blue for all the games before that. You're saying this year's Polaris team is unbeaten? That's exactly what I'm saying. Ew, your self-restraint is amazing. Humility in victory, generosity in defeat. I mean, that's how they taught us at Polaris. I'm officially impressed, Rick. And we know Gray has had that single loss to JP, so how does that stack things up? Well, I've played against Gray. They are really a top team. They play brilliant rugby. And we know they're coming to Makota to show what they can do. However, I know the Polaris boys will be ready for them. This is, dare I say, the game of the year. Two top sides, one winner, those are the stakes. And now, Cornet, I need to know, it's a massive moment in these boys' careers and also just being in the middle of that crowd, the drama, how do you manage that in terms of the players? I think in many ways you prepare them as you would uh, normally do for any big match. I think there's already a big sense of occasion um, in the school building up for that week, so emotionally and mentally they'll, they'll definitely be up for it. Our responsibility is to give them confidence going into the, to the match. And I believe you do that through giving them clarity, absolutely clarity in, in their role, what's expected of them in their position individually, but also collectively, give them a clear sense of direction and then creating an environment where they feel safe and where they feel they can thrive in. So we've heard from the coach now. We have three of the first team boys of Polaris Gymnasium joining us. Mana, who fully Polaris leave the gears in the camp of your look? No, it's special. Eh? We had a bit of a break now in our first game coming up this weekend. But throughout the whole year, it's been incredible. You know, started off with a tour to Ireland. And yeah, it's just a special group, special brotherhood. And we're very excited for the last couple of games of the season. Thank you so much, Riley. And now in terms of the strengths of this Polaris side, we heard you 
doing very well this season, but tell us about those strengths. I think on a technical aspect, we our set pieces are, are, are one of our key points as well, and um, we play off each other. So if um, if one boy um, somehow makes a gap or something like that, then that guy will run off his shoulder, and and I think we play we play with each other, and instead of trying to do our own thing and um, try and get all the credit, we, we play for each other. Nee, lekker. It sounds good, confident. Maar ik wil bij jullie weet wat weet jullie van die mannen van Bloemos? Weet jullie ook van hem die bal levendig hou? Nee, ik heb zo'n vrijst dat boeren hulle is groot. Die het net pap en vlees. Ja, so, hulle is baie visies en ek sien uit voor een visiese game. Baie dankie mannen, thank you. Nou, Ricky, with all that pride and Paul Roos talk, we need to delve into the history a bit between these two sides. How's it looking? Over the last eight years, Gray has won five out of the six games played. And they're travelling down from Bloom off the back of a win last year. But Paul Roos is undefeated and they have that home ground advantage as well. This is the last game of the season for both teams. It will be without a doubt one of the hardest, most thrilling games of their careers. Yeah, very interesting by the looks of things. But uh, now it's time to go visit the opponents out in Bloemfontein. And Gavin Cowley got into his car and found out a little bit more. Founded in 1855 in Bloemfontein, Gray College is the third oldest school in the country and the oldest north of the Orange River. Gray College has earned a reputation as one of the country's premier educational institutions, with its alumni achieving remarkable success locally and internationally. Notable alumni include writers Lawrence van der Post and Etienne LaRue, Influential lawyers Denise Rates and Bram Fischer, Olympic medalist Rake Neertling, world record sprinter Wade van Niekerk, and Proteus cricket captains Kepler Vessels and Hansi Cronier. Recent Springboks include brothers Janni and Bismarck Duplessis, Adrian Staus, Johan Goersen, Kobus Reinach, and recent additions Prop Jan Hendrik Vessels and front rower Andre Hugo Fenter. Thank you so much, Gavin. And now let's hear from the headmaster himself, Bram van Beek from Grey College. Values that we stand for is respect. Respect for yourself, respect for others, um, because we believe that everything starts with self-respect. But I also believe that in modern society, um, we parents don't have so much time actually to foster the values of the learners. The school's role is actually more and more important in fostering values for the youth of tomorrow. Thank you so much, Bram. Once again, a school just filled to the brim with pride and history. So, results, how's it looking this year? So this is where it gets interesting. Another blue board, and the game just before Otaniqua was their single loss to Jeppe. But look at those scores. Mostly big margins, except Afis and Battle Gym. This is a power team, Rick. <laughs> but so is Paul Roos. I'd say these teams and Battle Gym are probably the strongest school teams in the country right now. Agreed. The stage is set. It's going to be a big one. Get ready, because it's all happening on the 17th at the Makotter Field in Stellenbosch. This is a very good opportunity for the men of Bloom. Maar hoe bereid je span voor? Dat is een makkelijker stel een bos is een lange rit. Dat is der duizenden mensen. Hoe hou je die ziens kalm? To prepare the boys mentally, it doesn't need much much put in, and they'll prepare themselves just by the occasion itself. Um, so looking forward to it, uh, trying to get our conditioning wise in such a way to play on the bit slower, uh, more thicker fields, and um, that we are definitely not used to up here at this stage of the game. Nou, sinds van die africhters af gehoor, kom ons luister wat die manne van Grey te sê het, op die lijn nou drie van die eerste span spelers. Manne, hoe voel die geest in die span op die oomblik? Is een lang pad kaap toe, maar jylle is recht vir die saak, ne? Um, I think the vibe is definitely uh, good. Uh, sometimes you have your ups and downs, but the most important thing is that the team sticks together. So, the vibe has been good. I think everyone's excited for the Paul Rose game. Um, I think it's going to be a great match. What is your start for them? For me, our backline is phenomenal. I mean, we have four players playing in the SA school, so in SA school side and SAA side. 
from the back line. So that's, oh, no, back line is extremely powerful this year. Forwards also, forwards, I feel there hasn't been a pack that matched us as, as well. Not a big pack, but very strong. What is part of the good things that you outstand for your love of Paul Roosman? We know that they have quite good set piece. They get on the advantage line quite easily. Um, and we expect them to come hard for us, especially on their home grounds. Bye, Danke, Mane. Well, there you have it. Come Saturday the 17th, it's a match you do not want to miss. Monster, monster game ahead. It's Paul Roos versus Grey College, Saturday the 17th in Stellenbosch. And if you can't get there, don't worry, it's live on Supersport. So that's that for the year. We are done. Enjoy the games, enjoy the rest of the year, and we'll be back next year for even more top school games. I'm Katuelo. And I'm Ricky Schroeder. Don't forget to do your homework. See you next year on Premier Inter Schools.